Let's take a look at the support for HTML5 applications in Plasma and of course Plasma Active. HTML5 applications uh, sometimes come in a specialized format so you can install them locally. Um, this is called uh, WAC, W-A-C, or uh, Wholesale Application something. And we are actually able to load these HTML5 applications uh, into Plasma and have them run, uh, run alongside other Plasma applets or applications. Let's look at a few examples. So we've installed them um, just like uh, normal applications or normal uh, Plasma widgets. I'm actually need to add widgets here. As they're prefixed with uh, WAC, we can uh, see them here. So first, a simple game. Sizing isn't uh, perfect yet, but as you can see, it runs, and it's really hard to uh, to win against the uh, computer. Let's look at uh, let's look at another example: the uh, image lens. Those uh, are example applications I got uh, from the WAC website and which I used uh, to verify that everything works. Um, Marco Martinez has actually done uh, most of the work implementing the package format and making um, everything being loaded uh, into Plasma. We are using uh, WebKit and Qt WebKit uh, for this. <coughs> and as you can see, uh, it runs really fast and there's basically no noticeable uh, difference uh, with native uh, Plasma applications. Alright, let's look at a uh, slightly more uh, complicated thing. So these uh, applications wouldn't have much advantage um, over websites if they were um, not able to uh, get at certain information in your device. And um, uh, WAC specifies an API which um, allows you uh, to get at uh, certain functions. Um, you can think of contacts here, you can uh, think of access to the camera, access to system uh, information, and that kind of stuff. So let's look how um, Plasma handles these. We uh, add a widget, sizing is a bit uh, wonky at this point. And this is actually a widget which, ri uh, which requires um, certain uh, WAC APIs. And as we in general uh, do not trust these applications, we need a mechanism to prevent, um, <coughs> to prevent them from accessing uh, your system and um, probably and possibly sharing your data or uh, doing other nasty uh, things with it. So this uh, application, uh, the device info applications, re uh, requires access um, to the device status API, which is specified in WAC, and uh, which translates to a few capabilities uh, in Plasma. These capabilities uh, are listed here. By clicking uh, on permission, I can uh, I can actually review, make sense of it. Okay. Um, these permissions uh, are okay. I trust the app uh, enough to do to not do nasty things uh, with it. So I click on uh, launch, and then I see the application has been launched. You can uh, see it access, uh, for example, the battery device. This is done uh, through Solid, and uh, it's got a few uh, other parameters. The implementation of the uh, WAC APIs is far from complete right now, but uh, we do have the basic framework uh, to run these widgets in a secure way. The uh, implementation um, of, uh, of the security features is done in a way so that we can um, actually tell the applications which, uh, which features uh, to expect, but if we say, no, you, you won't get access to um, to this and that feature, the application would just refuse to run. 
So in most cases, people will most likely just uh, go ahead and accept everything the application throws um, at them. We want to make that a little bit. Um, we want to give a bit, little bit more uh, control to the uh, users. Um, so our approach is that we will be able uh, to allow only certain features, and the application will. Uh, then just think that all these features are available, but we do not uh, expose actual um, information information uh, to the application. That means we can lie to the application and um, we can pretty well sandbox uh, the application from your actual data. All right, um, so this is uh, some progress in the area of HTML5 and WAC uh, widgets on Plasma Active. I hope you like it and uh, let's see where we uh, can go with this.